The British have always handled us nicely by getting us into wars in places like Asia. This is the way the British run the world. The British Empire runs the world through warfare. The same way they, took, they got imperial power by inducing the silly nation states of Europe to go to war to each other in the so-called Seven Years' War. And the leading nations of Europe went to war against each other for seven years while the British stood on the sidelines and encouraged the process and love. And then on February in 1763, in a piece of Paris, the British Empire was declared as the empire of a private company called the British East India Company. And the British East India Company took over the United, what became the United, had become the United Kingdom and has run it from that time to its equivalent, the present day. The British East India Company, of course, went into bankruptcy at a later period. There were changes made, uh, as on the Victoria, and so forth. But the principle remained the same, of a maritime characteristic, that it was originally based on the, met the maritime power of the Mediterranean Sea, and later spread to the Atlantic Ocean. A maritime power which had created a control over the use of money. And the basis of this power was money, the control of money as a form of imperialism. All European imperialism, including British imperialism today, is not based on a landed territory. It's based on an international organization of the control of money. Now, this money is actually controlled by private interests, by individuals who form concerts of private interests, who set up the control of money, its creation and management. And nation states are subsidiary to this international control of money. The British Empire, which evolved out of this process, is nothing but that. It is not an empire of the people of the United Kingdom. It is an empire of an international consortium of these types of interests whose control over money is used by use of the control of money to control nations.